Intuitive Surgical has been a favorite among investors in the past few years. The stock has climbed more than 400% in the last five years. That is about three times more than the S&P 500. In today's video, we're gonna take a closer look into this winning company, which is a pioneer and a global technology leader in robotic assisted minimum invasive surgery. But first, hi, my name is Stanley and I'm the co-founder of valueinvestasia.com, an investment portal where we give you investment news and also in-depth analysis on listed company every single week. So if you're new to this channel, I hope you give us a like and also subscribe to this channel so you'll not miss out on any of our videos. Now, let's get back to intuitive surgical. Traditional open surgery has been a lifesaver for many patients, but it still has its disadvantages. In most cases, large incisions are needed that will result in patient discomfort during recovery and also a prolonged and costly hospital stay. Not to mention, it is also much riskier and also prone to infection for the patient. The second generation of surgery, termed as the minimally invasive surgery, allow some of this surgery to be done with very small incision, and that reduces the trauma and complication on the patient. Intuitive Surgical, with its Da Vinci surgical robot, was designed to be used through this small incision while letting the surgeon still have the freedom of hand movement similar to an open surgery. From the start, Intuitive Surgical focuses on encouraging early adopters by targeting key medical institutions and also leading surgeons of the field. Key institutions such as large multi-care hospitals have the capacity to handle such complex surgical procedure, while leading surgeons also have an interest to maintain their competitive edge in their respective field. So to aid adaptation, the system was designed to be simple to use. Surgeons are able to manipulate the control in a manner similar to how they are trained in open surgery. Thus, the training period can be quite short, enabling faster adaptation of the system. Beyond hospitals and surgeon, Intuitive Surgical also spend a lot of time and resources in patient education. By sharing the benefits such as smaller incision, leading to shorter recovery time and less complication, it proved to be a compelling factor for patients as well. And as more patients demanded less invasive surgery, hospital and surgeon are more inclined to adopt the Da Vinci system. In the year 2000, Intuitive Surgical went public, but at the time, it only sold 16 Da Vinci systems up to that point. Fast forward two decades later, the company now has an installed base of about 6,000 systems worldwide. This shows the success of the system and also the great value it brings for its customers and patients. For a sense of scale, last year, there are about 1.2 million surgical procedures done on the platform. A clear indication of mass acceptance of robotics surgical procedure. As the first mover, Intuitive Surgical now commands about 80% of the market share in the global surgical robotic market. Although it is operating in a highly complex industry, the business model of Intuitive Surgical is quite simple. It operates a razor and razor blade business model with a strong install base of the Da Vinci system, which act as the razor, there will be recurring demand for replaceable instrument and accessory and also services, which acts like the razor blade. The rapid increase of surgical procedure on its platform has also driven recurring sales higher. Currently, about three quarters of its revenue comes from recurring demand for instruments, accessory, and their services. However, as robotic surgery become more mainstream, more companies are also getting involved. Its closest competitor is the Stryker Corporation with about 9% market share. Meanwhile, Johnson & Johnson is also targeting this industry through its 3.4 billion purchase of Austria's Health, a manufacturer of the Monarch platform for lung cancer diagnosis. Other giants like Medtronic also threw its head into the ring by acquiring Maser Robotics, a robotic guidance system for spinal surgery. But it will be difficult for this player to take away market share from Intuitive Surgical. Firstly, many surgeons are already trained on the Da Vinci system. Clearly, this professional will flavor using that product as they know so well. Beyond this, we should also keep in mind that over 6,000 systems are already installed globally. 
after investing so much money into the Da Vinci system, hospitals are less likely to move to a completely new model. This means that Intuitive Surgical has a very sticky business model. And finally, if hospital and surgeon are still happy with the Da Vinci performance, there is no real incentive to take the risk and try another system. All this means that dethroning Intuitive Surgical as the leader of the market will not be an easy job. That said, no investment is without risk. And this is the same as Intuitive Surgical. For one, you can consider Intuitive Surgical as a very expensive stock. The stock is currently trading at 65 times its price to earnings. Although it seems like a rich valuation, that's actually in line with its fire average PE of 64 times. Secondly, the coronavirus pandemic has affected a company like Intuitive Surgical. The crisis forced hospitals to postpone surgery during the pandemic to focus on the coronavirus patient. As hospitals perform fewer surgery, there will be fewer instruments and accessories to be ordered. Moreover, as attention is directed to the care of COVID-19 patients, hospitals are also less likely to invest in a new Da Vinci system or at all. So even as a healthcare-related stock, it might not be directly correlated with the healthcare industry at all. So there you have it. What are your thoughts on Intuitive Surgical? And if you're a shareholder, share your thoughts with us below. Anyway, if you have gotten value from this video, I hope you give us a like and also share it with a friend who you think might benefit from it as well. If you want to learn more about investing, you can always check out our free investing course at valueinvestasia.com slash free course. My name is Stanley. Till we meet again, investively. Yeah.